be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today's video, I'm actually gonna be going over some simple tips you can use to make some hard fire trap drums in Logic Pro 10. So I already have a melody here. I'm gonna let you hear two different melodies and we're gonna make some drums in this video. So check this out. This is the melody that we're working with. also have a reverse part you know what I'm saying if y'all want to see me cook this uh, up from scratch and go over how I made it you want to make sure you check out some of the other videos that I have on the channel man we break all this down but anyway what I want to do is start off simply with a clap all right so I'm gonna go over here I already have some sounds loaded and the quickest way to do this is actually going to be to click right here, uh, right click, and then go to create pattern region. And then if you just actually click dead center, it's going to create your clap region. Now, for y'all who are brand new, you might be asking, okay, how do you get the sounds in there and all that? I get it. Let's go over here to create a new track. And then under instrument quick sampler, you can do mono or stereo depending on your choice or preference of the sound you're using. And then what you'll do from here is go ahead and push create and then go onto your computer and drag and drop a sound right in here. Now you can actually do this through the Apple loops. Let's just go like uh, clap, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just gonna throw this in here like so. So let's just say that you know you like these, one of these sounds, you wanna use this. This is a clap here, pretty dope. What you can do now is just go under default preset and do a save as. And I'm gonna say drop, clap. And now anytime I wanna pull this up, go straight up, create a brand new track and then pull this up and it'll be under here or I can just load it. So I can go to the D's, drop, clap, it's right there. So that's just how, just in case y'all wanted to learn like, hey, what is, how did he pull that up? whatever that's how you do it now i actually kind of like that clap sound so i'm just going to go ahead and hold down option and drag this down here now let's just check this out all right so easy enough now let's go to one of my favorite parts is the hi-hats especially using the step sequencer same process here we're going to go ahead in the workspace window this is where we're at right click create pattern region and in here, this is gonna pull up. Now, if you click over to the far left where there's, arrow, there's an arrow, I would say to change some of these metrics. So they got velocity, gate, and tie. I always change gate to like either repeat or note. You know what I'm saying? And then there's a lot of variation that you can do here. And then I also take this up to like at least 32 steps. And then you can just start by like just doing a simple pattern and then you can get more detail as you go. And I probably could have did this quicker by just going like 12 steps and then type them in and then go to 12 steps, 32 steps. But anyway, y'all, that's just like a simple thing here. Now, like again, keep it simple first and then you wanna start adding like little variations if, if you will. I'm actually gonna take it up another um, to 64 steps and then it's gonna cover the first two bars right here and then the last two bars there. So let's just look at this. Basically, you're gonna see this little white box right here. It's gonna follow through and you'll also see the playhead going. So it'll let you know kind of where you should place your uh, variation notes. And so like what I do, again, I'm starting off simple and then I start adding to it, you know, little by little. So we have like a little stutter stat to the tat, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. Now what I'm gonna do is use the repeat and a note to do some other crazy stuff. So like right here on our first little, you know, three notes, I can use this repeat. 
the higher you push up, the more detailed, the lower, the you know, less detailed. I'll push it up to like four, two, like that. And I still can play around with the note. you can do is use the loop so like you can come over here and literally do bar for bar Now that we got the clap, the hi hat, what we can do now is go to the snare. And same difference here, man. You know, probably go to 32 steps. Take this right here. some variation 64 steps again you can use each bar bar for bar measure for measure um, I'm just gonna come over here repeat and then go down to note all right cool so we use yeah, we have some variation there. Now let's go ahead and go with the kick. Or actually, no, we're going to go with the 808. Now you can use uh, the step sequencer to do the 808, but honestly, I think that the 808 is e most easily made, you know, playing it. So you pull up the musical type in Command K. And then sound it out till you find the note. Sometimes you might have to turn down everything else just a little bit just so you can kind of really hear that 808. So I would start off with just doing one note first and then we'll go to MIDI and we can move it around. So now I can just double click on this, highlight command A, and we can do like one over 16 swing A. And 
then also right click force legato since it's MIDI now we can move the notes up or down if we want to shift option up command T to chop it up using the playhead right here feel out where you are Option down semitones, It'll take it down semitones, up to down or up. For the kick, I keep it simple. And keep it very, you know, like I said, basic. And then what you can do actually is just look at where the playhead's playing to kind of see where you can kind of match up with this or with your 808. Command A, and then there we go. Sometimes like I might use two different 808s for the same different, you know what I mean, beat. some adjustments. And if I want, I don't really have to use that note. I can like use a note right here.
pieces, like accent pieces, like an open hi hat. Anyway, y'all, that's going to be pretty much today's video. Appreciate y'all watching. If y'all have questions, let me know in the comment section below. Also, head over to my website, bemakingbasis.com. Check out the courses I got on there. Also, the you know drum and melody, melody uh, kits I have on there. And we have templates on there. So check that all out. Uh, we also have a Be Making Master program you want to jump in at. And you want to check out the links in the description and pinned in the comment section. We got a lot of different goodies for y'all. So check all that stuff out, man. And I appreciate y'all watching. Till next time, I'll see you in the next video.